Hey guys, it's Never Thanks Twice here. Welcome back to another episode of Rand Simulator. Here today, we're going to take care of more of the farming stuff. So, last time we grew all the pluck crops and everything. Also, off camera, I found two more beehives, so I went ahead and did that. Um, yeah, I believe that's about it. Real quickly, that's done. So, we're going to go fertilize some of these crops real quick. There we go. I think that's all of it. No, oh, there's a little bit left. There's not enough to fertilize it, I guess. Alright. So, I think watermelons are the only ones that can't fit in the coolers, but you can fit some of the crops in the coolers. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. And then we can go see what everything sells for. Well, I think there's still some stuff that has to grow. Okay, yeah, the grapes aren't done. They're close to being done, but they're not fully done yet. Let's see, are we able to pick up pumpkins? No, we are not. Okay. So, we're going to have to just harvest all those. We'll just bring them this way. Okay. Well, good to know pumpkins don't fit. I must, well, cabbage should hopefully fit, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we'll keep these separate for now. Now, do I have to replant all that? Or, yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Let's grab our cabbage. There we go. Restart water and all of that. Perfect. Okay. So now these, these are all done. Let's grab another one. When we're full already. So I'm going to go ahead and say bell peppers probably don't sell, or these tomatoes probably don't sell for a whole lot since you fill up really quickly on them. If I can. There we go. Okay, let's grab some of these. So close. There we go. Earlier I accidentally collected a little bit of pe bell peppers, so... Oops, so close. Okay. Might need a few more coolers, maybe. What's over here at the end? Bell peppers? Okay. So that's looking like it's getting really unhealthy. Normally, you can run over them, and if you can press E, that's how you'll um, kind of cure them. But at the moment, I'm not seeing that on any of mine. So what will happen to this one whenever... Oh, it's because water. That's why it's wilting. Okay, can I now do it? No. Maybe it'll just go down, hopefully. Anyway. So we've got those. Let's come down this way. Pick up our strawberries. Well, that one's fully wilted. Let's see. Can I put the medicine on it now, or do I have to just get rid of it? I think I'll just probably have to get rid of it. Because I can't cure it at all. Pineapple's almost done. It needs water as well, though. Come on. There we go. Okay, so for this one... Let's move it, like, down this way. And then this pineapple we can move right there. Or not pineapple, the... Sprinkler. So the, now the pineapple gets water. And that's just going to have to be removed. We'll go run over here and grab our strawberries again. I think these are strawberries, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Let's go ahead and make sure that's watered. Okay, now we can come back with this. Nope. I think these are all full. Yep. We'll go grab a cooler from over here. Then let's pick up the pineapples. I'm assuming, yeah, watermelons you cannot do. Oh, 
Okay, we'll put that there. So what all are we missing? We got bell peppers. We picked up strawberries. We picked up pineapple. We picked up watermelon. We picked up the cabbage. We got tomatoes. We got pumpkin. Grapes are the only last one that we need. Which I wonder... Okay, that doesn't reach. That doesn't reach. So what happens if I just put it right in the center? No. I'll have to put it right there. And then I'll probably have to move this one there. Let's see if it works. It does, okay. So that should be good, hopefully. And then, yeah, that, the... They're really close to being done. That green bar right there, that's how, that's when they'll be done. So honestly, I think what we'll do is we'll just come over here and look at our chickens. I picked up a few eggs, I believe. Never mind, I think I had to sell them to uh, refill the granary. Because the granary was super low earlier. Which I think, how much money do I have? 268. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. I might end up building another silo just in case. I feel like we got a lot going there. I'm also going to pick that up. Was it 56? That's at 100. Okay. We'll give all, I'll let them go to all 100 and then we'll try it again. And then I would sleep, but it's a little too early to be able to sleep. So I think I guess we'll probably just get all this loaded up real quick. And then, and then we'll hopefully the um, grapes will be done soon. You know what? Let's also refill my tank real quick while I'm at it. It's on the other side. I always forget it's on this side for some reason. Why that is, I have no clue. Okay. Perfect. Let me jump back over here. Alright. Let's start loading this all up real quick. Perfect. Go ahead and drop that down. Okay, I'll put the cabbage up here. We gotta try to make it all close as possible together. So we can drive up on that small little area. Okay, I think these are all tomatoes, right? Once I get that tomato, 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 tomato. Yep, and then cabbage right there. All right. Then we'll do the pumpkins over here. I was about to say, I thought we had three, but I'm right there. All right. There we go. There we go. Let's grab the melons. Let's grab our strawberries. The bell peppers. And then the pineapples. Pineapples I'll just throw up top there. We can put our strawberries right there. Actually, let's do this. There's not really much of a point to doing that, but I just want to. Just for the fun of it. Awesome. Okay. That looks like all of it. Um, I need more fertilizer. I don't know... Hmm. Let's see here. I'll probably end up buying cows and stuff next episode. Yeah, I don't know which animal actually. You know what? I'll have to think about that one. I also think I'm probably going to sell some of this glass at some point. Because I definitely don't think I'm going to need all that. And I need to sell this table too because I bought it for no reason. And this table as well. I need a few more egg baskets just as, as a precaution. Do I have any meat inside my house? I don't remember ever doing it in here, but just to double check. No, I do not. Okay. And I, yeah, I need to start getting cows and stuff so I can milk them. And then I can uh, uh, start doing like cheese and stuff like that. Okay, let's check up on the grapes. Oh, yeah. There we go. 
I saw a deer running around back there somewhere. All right, let's pick up. I'm probably going to need two coolers if I'm being honest, so let's grab two of them. If not, like three. Because I rem now I remember, I think I put like ten crops down with it. Yeah. So yeah, I'm definitely going to need more than this. Oh, maybe one more. This one's... Uh, I don't know why that one's taking a while. Yep, just one more. Okay. I'm going to go examine that crop again here in a second after I grab one more cooler. Because it didn't look like it had any problems. It just looked... Oh, you know what? I think that was the one that didn't get water. I think that's why it's a little lower grown. Let's take a look at this one more time. Yeah, I think yeah, I think that was the one without water. But that's alright. Cool, everything's grown. Yeah, I guess when whenever you um, harvest cabbage, it disappears. But for like watermelons and pineapples and everything else, they stay. So either that was a bug, or they it since you have to rip up the whole plant. I guess that makes a little more sense. Okay, well, the cabbage is almost done already too. Yeah, we'll definitely have to pick up some more cabbage, for sure. But, that's alright. I kind of like that it goes really quick. You can get a lot of it done. Okay. Let's go run over to the... Oh, I always forget what this place is called. The Best Burger. And see how much this all sells for. And see what's the most worth... What take is worth the most money, which I'm going to go ahead and say grapes. Since that took the longest to grow... I personally think that's what it's going to be. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, yep, I saw that coming. That's alright, though. Let's go this way and see. Hopefully don't run into the truck. Okay. He was taking too long. Make sure we get everything in there. Perfect. Hopefully I can get in. There we go. Okay. So, uh, oh, of course, eggs have a multiplier now. Okay, let's see here. Cabbage sells for 50. Oh, wait. Nope. My bad. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong number. Cabbage sells for $5. Pineapple's for 30 So, cabbage really is not worth it. Pineapple, that's pretty worth it. Tomato, tomatoes, $6. Bell peppers, $2. Strawberries, $4. Grapes are worth 20 bucks. Okay, so honestly, the one that's most, most worth it is just pineapple. Just growing a whole bunch of pineapple is the best idea, what it seems like. Because yes, okay, well, pineapples and grapes, I would say. Because you get $20 for them, but you get a whole bunch of them. So I think really, grapes are probably worth the most. Because you got to imagine you get, I don't know, like four per one harvest. So that's like 80 bucks. Rather well, you only get one pineapple each time. So, I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking grapes and pineapples is pretty much the most worth it. Oop, that's not what I meant to do. But that's a great way to get like a cross, I guess. I'm just gonna cut you off, sorry. No, slow down, slow down. Okay, there we go. Let's just drift it out. If you can't tell, I'm a great driver at this. There we go. Alright, let's go look at our crops again, and let's go look at our pigs, because we'll probably have to... Start thinning the herd a little bit. But yeah, next episode we'll definitely start looking at getting some other animals. Um, let's see here. Let's look at the glossary real quick. So I have chickens, pigs, and bees. So yeah, cow, goat, and a horse. I'll probably end up getting cows next. Then goats. Also add goat's cheese mold to it to increase the value. 
milk a cow you can use this milk to produce goat's cheese of which you can also add a goat's cheese mold to to increase its value goats can be milked twice a day using milk machine with a milk uh, can attached or straight into a small metal bucket male goat can breed with female goats to produce a kid okay yeah, so I'll probably do cows, and then I'll do goat. Um, I'm definitely going to have to build another granary, I would say. And honestly, I might build... Okay. I might build another barn next to it, next to next door. Or just build it out that way, and have this as the back wall as well. But more than likely, I'll probably build another one over here. Just so we can have things a little bit separate. And then I could build a new granary and new uh, water mill. Because that thing gets drained really quickly. So I might as well build a new one. And I'm going to put the meat up here. Alright, let's go look at the bees real quick as well. Before I do that. Cabbage is done already. I think I might just place a whole bunch of pineapples. Let's go ahead and pull all these off the trailer as well. Yeah, I could have brought it closer, but it's fine. We can just run them all over. It won't take but a second. I'm just slowly trailing them all. You know, I don't know if this is the most efficient way or not, honestly. I mean, it does seem like it does pretty quick, but there might be a more efficient way of carrying it, but that's alright. This is a fun way of doing it for now. There we go. So let's go over here and pick up all the cabbage. Watermelons are done. I think we'll probably just start lining things up over here. Put that over there. Put this over there. That immediately got wilted. That's not good. Okay, let's go over and see if we can use the medicine. Harvest, 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 remove, remove, remove. Um, I might have to just remove this crop because it won't let me harvest or like fix it. I'm pressing E and it won't let me do anything. So yeah, I don't know about that one. Because it's wilted, so I think I'm pretty sure that means it cannot grow. So I guess we'll just remove that and go get a new watermelon. Well, it's not really worth doing the watermelon, but we'll put it there anyway. Because it's free money. Somewhat. Besides when I had to pay for the seeds. Go ahead, you on there. Sorry, guys. Um... Pineapple. I'm going to need another bag of pineapple. Okay, then we'll have to water them real quick. Pineapple goes right there. Okay, let's water. Oop, my character moved a little. Let's water you and water you. Then we'll water you. Might as well just turn all these on and water them. Ooh. Getting all thrown around there. Okay, we'll go ahead and collect the bell peppers. And we'll start stacking this stuff over there. And those got wilted. Okay, those still have room. We'll keep that on that side. So for the bell peppers, let's try... And heal them. Maybe I'm supposed to heal them before I start ripping all the food off. Maybe that's kind of the aim of the game there. Okay, well, yeah, I don't know about that one. I'm still kind of trying to learn how to do this. Because it can be a wee bit confusing sometimes. Especially with these game mechanics. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do. I love the game. It's a really great game, but... Sometimes there's little th things that are a bit confusing there. Please tell me I can use just a little bit of this fertilizer. No. Okay. 
Yeah, you definitely need a lot of fertilizer. I will say that. Um, it looks like our strawberries are done. Let's go grab our strawberries there. Oh, not strawberries. What are those strawberries? Yeah, because tomatoes in the center. Pick up those. Okay, before I harvest that, let me double, triple check. Can I? No, I can only harvest them. So why they wilt, I really don't know. That one still is getting me a little. Hmm. Okay, so I have bell peppers right there. So let's grab the bell peppers. What we're going to do is instead of just storing them on the shelf... I'm just going to stack them right here in front of them. So whenever they do wilt and stuff like this, we can just easily throw it there. So here, let's do this. Pick up all the strawberries. Pick up the pumpkins, cabbage, grapes. Pick up all that. There we go. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and remove these, because I can't seem to heal them. Go ahead and plant those. Water them up. Make sure these are all watered up. Next we've got the pumpkin. Those are watermelon. Seven. Put that over there. Do I have cabbage? No. Okay. So we'll go ahead and throw this down here on the bottom. I'll jack the pineapple. I'll put it over here. Grapes will run over here. Tomatoes. Put them there. Then the pineapple, put it right there again. All those pineapples as well? I can't remember. Those are watermelons. Okay. Cool. Now we are all good. We've got cabbage, watermelons over there. These are all growing. They all have water. Yes, yes. All of them have water. All of these have water. Okay. So we're good on that. What are these? These are... Oh yeah, watermelon. I forgot I... Let me just jack that real quick. I'll put the watermelon over here. I felt like I was missing something. Perfect. Okay. So we're all good on that one. Now when I sleep, honestly, it'll probably have all that... So most of that grown back. These done? Yes, they're done. Okay, finally. I think I have the smoker still in my gator, which is right in front of me. There we go. Honestly, what would be really cool is like after like a week or so, like in game, if the if the games could make it to where the bees would uh, transfer into empty hives or empty frames, so you don't have to go search the forest for them. Cause it no. Because it really is very difficult to actually find these bees out in the forest. Okay, so it likes to work when there's a whole bunch of it in there. But whenever I was trying earlier, with just... Okay. With just like one frame, it does not like it whenever you try just one frame. I guess we can turn that off real quick. Does that mean they're done? Okay, yeah. For some reason, like it'll they'll start repopulating the frames at two percent. Like it won't go down any further than two percent on these. And I'm not really sure why. I mean, I guess if you think about it, there's probably some logic behind it. And you want to keep enough honey on there for the bees to stay alive. 
or stay there. I, I don't know, however you want to think about it. But we'll go ahead and have a sleep. And then we're going to come back. We'll check the plants. We'll check um, the beehives again. Because I really do want to go see how much the honey sells for. Because I'm curious. I want to see what a full bottle sells for. If you can't tell, this episode is very much about gardening. I'm just trying to learn as much as I can about all this stuff. So I'm just knocking out the park here. Okay, so I need the strawberry one, which is, I think, this first one right there. Come on. Bell peppers, bell peppers. Got a little closer. Hey, I don't know why I brought that one over there. I can just keep it here. It wilted again. Why, I don't know. Yeah, it really doesn't make sense to me. Three there. Yeah, I really do wonder why it's doing that. Um, I don't know. Are these sprinklers just not working well, or what's happening here? See, then these are wilted. But I bet you... I can't heal them. No, I can't. So then what am I supposed to do here? I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. Because these just wilt and then there's nothing I can do about it. I'm just, I'm honestly, I really don't know what to do about that. Because there's not much I can do about that. Because they just automatically wilt themselves and then... Oh, I guess it's time for all of them to turn on. Or some of them at least. Yeah, I really don't know about that one. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll go over and check the hive again. 9%. That'll hopefully be enough. I really do just want to go see how, how much this sells for. I'll probably just end up taking it, even if this isn't enough. 7.2. See, but we're right there, t though, too. Ooh, 3%. Let's try one down. No, okay. Yep, I don't know. I think we'll just take it like that. It's close enough. I really don't expect, like, big bucks. Like, probably, like, 30 bucks, honestly, but... Just out of curiosity, at the end of the episode, I want to see how much it's worth. So, we'll go through this in the gator, and then we'll run down there real quick. And then we'll probably end the episode there after we're done with that. But yeah, next up, I mean, off camera, what I'll probably do is I'll probably slaughter the pigs. Um, I'll show you how many are in there. I'll probably slaughter them. And I'll probably uh, collect a bunch of eggs and mix all that together and make some money. I'll do the sell on camera. But I won't bore you guys with making the meat. Because I'm sure that's probably not the most exciting in the world. But yeah, I mean. Hope you guys liked the episode. Also, please like and subscribe. It'll help me out a lot. It also shows me that you guys are interested. So that way I'll keep making these videos. Okay, that's pretty good, honestly. That's not too bad. Especially because all you got to do is just, once in a while, throw it into the extractor. <coughs> Sorry, guys. It's getting a little bit of a sore throat there. There's a lot of deers around. I've definitely noticed with this new update, there's a lot more animals. And also, especially now that I'm not killing any of them, there's a crap ton of them. It's very convenient. Eh, I don't want to go that far. Let's reverse it back over here. Okay. We'll grab this. Go ahead and throw this over here. What I might do is, real quickly on camera, I'll just show you guys what I'm going to be doing, just as a quick little reminder. 
see if they've laid any eggs yet. They have. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and pick up all these eggs here. Okay. So just in case you guys have forgotten. What you want to do is you want to get the grinder and then the stuffer. Which I believe those are what those two are. You're going to go ahead and put the meat in there. You're going to turn it on. And it's going to put it in here. You want to take an egg. You want to add the egg. You want to pick this up. So now there's two different things you can do. If you would have, if you pull it out of this, it turns it into a meatball. And if you put it into this, what it does is it make. Hold on, run this back. Is it makes sausages? Now I don't know exactly which one sells for more. So that also, let me see if there's any babies real quick. That might be a quick little thing to test, or the thing that we can test for next episode. Hold on, I want to come in and then there we go. Oh, I think that one's dead. It is. Oh, there's a... Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a whole lot of piggies dead in here. Okay, well, I'll harvest them up and put them all in coolers. Let's go ahead and just skin you and grab you real quick. I'll go ahead and show you guys just one more time. Go ahead and turn that on. I'm going to grab an egg. By Also, by adding an egg, it just makes it, its value increase a little bit. So we'll put that in, and then now we have a meatball. So and this is a drying rack, so I'll put my sausage in there, and then meat, meatball in there. This also adds price, drying it. So next episode, we'll also sell these and just see how much it's worth. Um, off camera, I'm going to grab up all the meat from the pigs. And uh, yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one, and have a great day. Peace out.